This is the most extreme scale up the world has ever done. And as a result, we have a one exaflops computer in one rack. Isn't it incredible? NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, shared some really exciting news about how their AI technology is now helping almost every industry you can think of. He explained in a simple way that companies today are starting to rely heavily on AI, so much so that in the future, each business might have two kinds of factories, one that builds their regular products, and another completely dedicated to developing AI systems. He seemed thrilled as he talked about how NVIDIA's powerful tools, especially their CUDA X software and GPU-boosted libraries, are now everywhere, used across the globe to make things faster and smarter. Huang proudly said that the technology has now reached a point where accelerated computing is no longer just a cool feature because it has become a game-changer, and CUDA, their special platform that speeds up computing, has played a huge role in making that happen. One of the biggest announcements he made was that NVIDIA is going to open up one of its smartest tools to everyone. This tool is called QOPT, and it helps with decision-making by using AI to find the best solutions for really complex problems. Opening it to the public means more people and companies can now use it to make smarter choices and solve tough problems with the help of AI. Huang's voice carried pride as he talked about how widely CUDA has spread because it's being used in all sorts of places, proving that it's no longer just a niche thing for tech experts. He then shifted the conversation to the infrastructure needed for AI to work smoothly, like powerful servers, smart programs, and machines that can learn and think. He explained that AI isn't staying inside computer labs anymore, it's making its way out into the real world. He smiled when he recalled how one of the first industries to embrace AI was the self-driving car business. He confidently said that almost every company working on autonomous vehicles is using NVIDIA's technology, whether it's inside their research centers or built into the cars themselves. Then came one of the most thrilling updates, which is a major partnership between NVIDIA and General Motors. Huang excitedly shared that GM, the biggest car company in America, is now teaming up with NVIDIA to build the future. They'll be using NVIDIA's AI systems, smart simulation tools, and high-speed computing to design the next generation of vehicles, advanced factories, and intelligent robots. It's a huge step, not just for the two companies, but for the whole idea of what cars and machines can become. Away from the collaboration with Generative Motors, Jensen Huang pointed out that we're in a new phase of AI. And this new phase is no longer just about training models, it's about using billions of data points, which are the key to building machines that not only think, but can also act in the real world. Today, data centers are being redesigned and rebuilt into what Huang calls AI factories, which are huge digital workspaces built specifically to handle millions of user questions and tasks quickly and efficiently. To take full advantage of what experts see as a $1 trillion opportunity, NVIDIA used their recent GTC event to reveal some of their biggest updates yet. They introduced new technology across every corner of the AI world, from a next-level platform called Blackwell Ultra to a new kind of operating system made just for AI factories. They also rolled out fresh improvements in networking tools, smart robots, and supercharged computing systems. The current Blackwell chip is already being produced and used, and it's changing the game completely. Compared to their previous model, Hopper, Blackwell is 40 times more powerful. This incredible performance boost is helping AI systems run faster and work on much larger tasks, making AI tools easier to use and more available to everyone. But NVIDIA isn't stopping there. They've already announced what's coming next, which is the Blackwell Ultra, expected to be ready in the second half of 2025. This new version will come with much more memory, perfect for running even larger and more advanced AI systems. NVIDIA is moving fast and promises to release new AI chip designs every year. Their upcoming platform, called Vera Rubin, will help improve how fast and efficiently data centers can run, giving another big push to AI development. But it's not just the chips that are changing. Everything about AI infrastructure is being upgraded. New kinds of light-based technology, faster storage built specifically for AI, and super smart networking systems are all being added to the mix. These upgrades mean data centers will be able to do more work, use less energy, and scale up more easily than ever before. But there's another part of AI that's even bigger, which is the robots and machines that can work in the physical world. Huang believes this part of AI, known as physical AI, is a $50 trillion opportunity. Think about factories, delivery systems, hospitals, and so much more. In all these areas, robots powered by smart AI will soon take on tasks that once needed human hands. NVIDIA is leading here too, with its Isaac and Cosmos platforms pushing the limits of what robots can do. 
Well, this is not the only area NVIDIA focused on during the conference, so keep watching as we unveil more exciting announcements. NVIDIA's Bold Moves NVIDIA's plan for the future is bold and full of excitement. They've laid out a clear path with new technologies coming one after another. First up is a platform called Vera Rubin, set to arrive in the second half of 2026. After that, an even more powerful version named Vera Rubin Ultra is expected to launch in 2027. These chips and servers will be much faster, especially when it comes to moving data between multiple chips. It is a very important feature for running large and complex AI systems that depend on many chips working together smoothly. And looking even further ahead, in 2028, NVIDIA plans to introduce an entirely new architecture called Feynman. This upcoming platform will use a brand new type of advanced memory called Next Generation HBM, giving AI models even more power to grow and think faster. At the same time, NVIDIA is bringing AI power right to the desktop. Using their Grace Blackwell platform, they've created two personal AI systems, DGX Spark and DGX Station. These are made to help users build, train, and run large AI models from their own desks. And they're not doing it alone. Top computer companies like Asus, Dell, and HP will help bring these machines to life, making it easier for more people to tap into advanced AI right from their homes or offices. To support all this AI activity, fast and smart connections are a must. That's why NVIDIA also introduced new networking tools. The Spectrum X and Quantum X platforms use special light-based technology to create high-speed, energy-saving links between huge numbers of GPUs across many locations. These tools make it possible for massive AI systems to work together without wasting energy. The Quantum X Photonics InfiniBand switches will become available by the end of this year, while the Spectrum X Photonics Ethernet switches will roll out in 2026. In addition to all the hardware, NVIDIA also made a major software announcement. They introduced Dynamo, a free and open-source software that helps AI systems become more efficient at solving complex problems step by step. By speeding up this process, Dynamo helps reduce the time it takes for new ideas to turn into real results, especially inside AI-focused data centers. But it doesn't stop there. NVIDIA is also thinking about the future of robots. They introduced GR00TN-1, the world's first open and fully customizable core model made for humanoid robots. This smart model can think and react like a human using two different systems for both quick decisions and slower, more thoughtful reasoning. It's designed to help robots learn skills that can be applied in many situations, making them more useful in daily life. And for robots to move and act correctly, they need to understand how the physical world works. That's where Newton comes in, a new physics engine developed with help from Google DeepMind and Disney Research. Newton is open source, which means anyone can use it, and it teaches robots how to handle real-life physical tasks with more control and accuracy than ever before. NVIDIA's Boston Quantum Lab NVIDIA is taking a big step forward in quantum computing with exciting plans to launch a new research center in Boston. This announcement came directly from the company's founder and CEO, Jensen Huang, as he opened a special set of talks at GTC focused on the future of quantum technology. He shared that the upcoming Boston facility is expected to become the most advanced research lab in the world for accelerated and hybrid quantum computing. It's a bold vision, and it's clear NVIDIA is ready to make it real. During this special Quantum Day at GTC, experts from across the industry came together to explore the vital role that accelerated computing will play in the growth of quantum systems. Although each team and company may use different methods and tools to build their quantum technologies, everyone on the panels agreed on how it is important for GPUs and quantum machines to work closely together, because when they do, they could spark powerful new discoveries that were never possible before. NVIDIA's new lab isn't just about machines, it's also about people and teamwork. This center in Boston will be a place where top minds from famous schools like Harvard and MIT can come together with NVIDIA to build the future of quantum. Their shared goal is to speed up progress in a field that could completely change the way we solve problems in science, security, and beyond. Jensen Huang himself led the conversations during the event, which featured three key panels and many well-known companies already building real quantum systems. Together, they discussed the current state of the technology, including the exciting progress being made toward reaching double-digit numbers of logical qubits. 
but they also talked about the road ahead, how the industry must grow toward hundreds and eventually millions of qubits before quantum computers can be used for practical, everyday tasks. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.